Hello, Goranges are on view, this time for our sale on the 14th of November. Good grief, time is flying by. It's bonfire night tonight in Lewis, November the 5th. Always on November the 5th in Lewis, doesn't matter which day of the week it lands. Passionate bonfire people, um, don't come to Lewis is my recommendation. It'd be packed and mad and it's raining. Uh, anyway, what have we got in the sale on the 14th of November? Well, given the weather, this could be topically useful. Lot 1091, we, 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 did we fit in there, dear? Uh, there we go, so that's beautifully made um, uh, with a uh, stand for it. So um, yes, row, row your boat in, it's rather nice. It's, it's well made, it's clinker built. Um, I don't think it comes with a guarantee that it holds its watertight by the look of it from the inside, but there we go, great fun with the oars, etc. Uh, carrying on, inappropriate, but um, you know, summer will return uh, for Glyndebourne. How about these wonderful um, deck chairs, lot 1053, with this rather groovy printed fabric um, to keep them off your champagne with the, the cobras or snakes or whatever they are. Uh, there's the smart chest drawers, nice colour. Yeah. What can we say about that? Well, it's mahogany banded, it's got a mahogany, in fact, it's all mahogany. It's um. Date-wise, 1800-ish. Why do I say that? Well, these diamond-shaped escutcheons in bone, I think, rather than ivory. It is bone. We don't need a site certificate. Uh, point to that. The handles are later. They've been added. Um, that's stylistically not quite right. But there we go. Not a bad chest of drawers. I'm probably going to set you back about £100 or so. So good value. Uh, nice big hall lantern here. Modern one. Ten you have been seeing the lights not stars haven't you so coming up at the beginning of december the entire stock of retouch lighting fabulous antique and specialist lighting store on harrow on the hill we've been up there this week cataloging it photographing it the boys have been packing it so it's all going to go online look out for that at the end of the month really amazing lot of lighting and something for everyone because there's decker very special uh do we like this Quite nice, yeah, I think I quite do, nice proportions, isn't it? Yeah. It's restrained. Yeah. Um, it's it's pleasingly plain. Yeah. It's on mahogany tapered legs, suggesting that it is a George III example. Yeah. There's some water staining on the upholstery, yeah. but it's a nice size, isn't it? And yeah. it's not. It doesn't shout yeah. too much. What's on the floor is lot 1082, oh. which is a stern and a head stern. and stop, isn't that? That's a, a, a ship's steering wheel by That's the looks of things. Nice and lumpy, great fun, with a, with a fire extinguisher, I suspect, as well. Rather nice, that. So, here we go, as usual. Is your, is your chewing gum still underneath it? Uh, that would be lot 1083, the school desk. Um, it, it, I love Howard. There we go. Um, who knew? So, uh, school desk. With the ink pot that yes. did, I don't think I we ever had the ink pots, well. did we? Lovely little strong box here. This is nice. This is lot 1062, and it says incombustible nouveau système, and it's French, <laughs> incombustible, in other words, if it's French. Uh, can I open it? It's got a lovely key. I think it's one of those locks that you have to sort of fiddle with to some extent, but it, it suggests we can get it open, maybe, but we'll check. So that's fun, really heavy. 1063. How about some siphons? Um, no, I'm not going to squeeze it just in case. But yeah, with the look at the etch, that's a Rawlings one. Rawlings is on the crate. Um, are they all? Oh, there we go. There's a different one. Point me nice. to the king. Rather nice. These are popular yeah. uh, things. Most of them have these plastic tops. But again, nice etching. Um, some of them. One of them has the chrome top. There's some old suitcases. There's some old trunks. Um, there's butler's tables. There's a big whopping grate shell stick stand lot 1066 industrial lighting 1950s fabric more recent when well, you're going over to cases yeah big lots of these cases this wooden pointy thingy is a uh, it's for a a figure it's for it's it's probably from a catholic church and it's going you're going to have a nice big figure of the virgin or or some such um slotted within it possibly a monstrance but i think a figure would have been there uh, it's lot 1022 uh got a good gothic look to it we had a pair of those um a couple of weeks ago did very well the ones we had were more substantial they were a bit more solid and i think they made about six seven hundred pounds 
These are same age, but a little bit more tinny, but still rather fun with the grapes and the grain. Uh, she is a reproduction, um, but looks like she's about to dive in at lot 1019. And she is bronze and she's been around long enough to get nice and dusty. These, so we have here, this looks like the pediment to a piece of furniture. It could actually sit over a mantelpiece. It could be a sort of shelf for that. And again, this is a similar sort of, this sat like a frieze like that with the rings. So they're, they're useful bits of timber to use to make things from. These are rather nice actually, drifting past. 1036, look, quite a pleasing cottage dining chair. What I like is this cresting rail. I like this turning here and this curve to it. The rest of them, fairly straightforward. The, the rush seats are starting to spring a bit and they're a bit dark and dirty. They clean up nicely. One, at least, at least one is broken. Um, so you need to have that repaired. That will need a pin to, uh, to do it. But um, yeah, slightly different model. Won't be expensive again, but uh, nice enough things. And so we just carry on round to more seating furniture of all sorts. We go from Victorian. I mean, God, blimey, 20, 30 years ago. Here we go again. That would have made good money. That would have made 1,000, 1,500 easily. Very nicely carved. Um, yeah, not in fashion, 1031, but still a good example. Still keep an eye on it. Um, then here, I don't know whether this is Urkel or not, but it's got that look and it's got a drop arm to uh, convert and what looks to be original fabric, 1069, 1930s, 40s, French, probably 1119, the deco look. And if you want something contemporary to stick by your breakfast bar, uh, 1117 looked to be a reoffer, pair of steel bar seats. So there we go, all sorts of furniture as ever. We'll go and have a look at smalls. Here we are in the land of smalls. What have we got? Well, as usual, nice mixture, but it includes the complete contents of a flat in Sussex Square, Brighton, which if you don't know, it is the lovely sort of Regency end of Brighton heading uh, east out of town. Lovely old Regency houses, very smart apartment there with all sorts of stylish things within it. Very stylish gentlemen live there. And from it, therefore, we have things like this Alessi wine cooler together with some Laurent Perrier coolers as well. That would be lot 1390. Uh, from the same source, lots of cut glass, including 1354, this rather nice suite. Let's see, is it signed? Yes, it is. So this is Stuart Crystal. Not a bad size, nice lot. There's eight of these tumblers. Uh, there's eight goblets of wine. So with cut glass, what are we, it's not the most fashionable of things, but it's very expensive, new still. And what we look for, generally speaking these days, is size. So people want a wine glass that big, not a little diddler, even though that would do the sherry and what have you. Uh, so uh, yeah, some nice suites of glass running through. Uh, there's interesting lamps and things, such as two pairs of these, 1394. These are the feather effect. They're just in resin, but they've got a sort of nice decorative look to them. Uh, something to put in the glasses, lot 1351, a bottle of 1988 Dom Perignon. We'll be seeing more of that in coming months. Pictures. Now, this is nice. I like this. This is 1619, uh, Leon Victor Solon. Uh, this is a design for the front cover of the studio magazine, 1898. So that's rather nice. Um, retailed by Abbott and Holder back in um, 1988. Please do not bend. Um, so... Uh, there we go. That's a nice little thing. More, more art as we go through. Um, a lot of these are just decorative from the same property. The Pestle and Mortar is by a chap called Colin Vincent, um, who uh, has this rather lovely detailed style. 1615, that one. Um, but yeah, other sort of other things to suit other tastes. Then I'm looking for more glass. I'm going to talk about more glass just because there's lots of it. We need to shift it. 1395, this is Royal Briarly oh, and masses of it. Yes, yes, so you could use them and chuck them over your shoulder <laughs> practically. Uh, there are so many there. Wow, oh, that's glitzy, isn't it? Not in the cell yet. We'll talk about that when it is. Uh, carrying on round then, yes, from the same property. I move that box out of the way. How about a resin model of the Statue of Liberty? You mean you haven't got one? 1309, you will have one yes. if you buy that. Uh, carrying on, yes, what else can I point out? More cut glass, uh, Dalton. 
Yeah, so these are made, these sometimes called trench art. These will have been made from, as we can see, um, artillery shells, cinched in, lot 1337. So we did that big stick stand shell over the other side. Ah, I was looking for these. 1312, have you got an umbrella? Yes, this one's mine. So there we go. That, this is silver. It's been dipped in silver. It's sort yeah. of coated, to the, certainly to the, to the amount that it has got hallmarks upon it. Yeah. And they, are, they were made or retailed by Jeffrey West, no less. <laughs> We've got four of them, all with different um, handles. Uh, I think they retail about £400 each. They're estimated about £100, £150 each uh, here. Yeah, I've seen the coat. There's the Mephistopheles. 1318 I mean, you know you can sort of cover it up with your hand and then whoa there, you know look at that yeah so really good fun those that's a nice christmas present somebody um then oh hair end always makes good money look at this hair end tea set um in this classic scale pattern but with two teapots so one can be very generous with the tea other attractive pictures running along the way there's some costume designs We've got some French clockage going on here. Look at that. Rather smart. 1293. Good showy clock garniture. Mm. Up above it. Caught by Mr. Soames in 1937. The perch. I saw a whopping great sea trout caught in the river near Lewis. They're coming in. We'll be featuring them in due course. Two sea trout. Big old things. Wouldn't have thought they'd be in the Lewis River. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Um, carrying on, just exotic birds, exotic paintings. Here, this is a good name. I mean, it's probably a lesser example of a good name, but this is by um, Algernon Newton, and it's lot 1646. And you say right in that sort of unimpressed Wait. manner. It is just a little sketch. It's yeah. just called Up the Road. Um, but, you know, Algernon, Algernon Newton fans might like it, we hope. Um, in the background, more dinnerwares, 1518. This is a Worcester Evesham pattern, I do believe. Yes, it is. And, um, it perennially popular. It's one of those, some, some patterns fade away and become unfashionable, but Evesham just keeps going, or so it seems. We certainly hope so, because you've got lots of it to sell. All the plates around here, so it's a massive, um, it's a massive quantity. Um, further funky things, there's knife boxes. Just, um, out of interest, yes. what, what sort of estimate? I know um, you haven't seen the estimate, but what's the I think... buying new basic. This and oh, it would be a similar price. Yeah, absolutely. So this, I yeah, suspect I've expensive. put a rather modest estimate of, say, two to three hundred oh. on the whole lot, because I wasn't quite aware how much there was when I saw it in the property. Yeah. But it looks like we've got enough for 10 or 12 people in the main. Yeah. And again, it will have been and it will be really expensive to buy something similar. And if you go to one of those replacement piece companies, they'll charge you a, a fair whack to yeah. fill in your missing bits. Yeah. So yes, be very good value in compared to new, um, as are most of these services these days. Um, they're, um, they're, they're not hotly contested, but I say that and then every now and then someone leaves a whopping great bid and you know, it, could, it could cost a thousand pounds. Yeah, that's it. Takes two at auction to make the, to make the money. Yeah. And um, that can happen. We have already got some oil lamps in. So they'll start um, warming up the market. There's uh, those lovely resin figures across the back. There's some candelabra. There's some leather waste paper bins. It's a nearly interesting mixture. Here's a um, unusual German or Austrian German, I think, 1329 figure. <laughs> the expressions are brilliant, aren't they? Um, so yeah, really good lot this sale. Um, you know, not everything is modern and funky. How about that? Arthur Glennie, lovely watercolor of Capri. Again, from Aberton Holder, price £875, back in the day, in lovely condition, ready to go. We'd like to be there, much nicer there than here in the rain. But there we go, we can't all be where we want to be. Yes, so these are two separate lots. These are by someone called, this one is by Clarkson. Um, and um, it's, it's, yeah, it's Fox. Yes. It could be cleaned up, it's probably not worth spending the money, but no. 1643 and then next to them 1644 is a different hand. In fact, I'm pretty sure we've got some details about it. Yes, we do. Costume, Gladys Calthop is the uh, designer. Costume for Bobby, Bobby Howes in 1929 at Delphi Theatre. Great fun. Yeah. And conditions, again, a little bit of damp has got for them, but they're still 
fair, yeah. uh, I think we can say. Yeah. Um, so, yes, uh, oh, I like this. I thought this was going to be fine, so, and Dan said, no, there's a chunk missing out the wing. It's been broken and certain sort of both, both wing tips have been damaged. So Japanese Meiji period, lot 1300, not signed. Um, if you want the real thing next to it, you've got a Kestrel, lot 1301. If you want the sexy thing, you, uh, blimey, look at that. Uh, lot 1302, it's cold. Um, truncheons, powder horns, low armor knack. Bath Armagnac 1986, that will be lot 1254. So as ever, it's all here. Hopefully we've given you a good taste of this cell. It's a, it, you know, some are better than others, and this one strikes me as the more interesting one. Does yes. it you? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. there we go. We... Um, it's, it's great to have a sex special, because when you go to these sorts of vehicles, um, it's interesting. Yeah, and you just keep seeing things. Oh, yeah. So um, this... I'm looking for a lot number, but you get two trays, you get two silver mounted decanters yeah. that are not signed apparently, but look yeah. like they could be by somebody. And then you get various other bits and pieces all to do your, um, your, your cocktails and the like. So yes, uh, yeah, and uh, tempting, isn't it? Like Let's, and why not? Yes, absolutely. Great. So thanks for watching and do come along and enjoy the sale. Thank you.